Welcome to our nautical adventure. Today we explore Biograd, the heart of Croatia's sailing scene, with its lovely marinas and rich maritime culture. Then we set sail for Pag, an island bursting with vibrant colors and flavors, offering incredible food and stunning views. Join us for this unforgettable journey. Biograd na Moru, commonly known as Biograd, is a picturesque coastal town located in the heart of the Adriatic Sea in Croatia. Known for its rich history and vibrant maritime heritage, Biograd offers stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and a charming old town filled with historic sites. The town is a popular destination for sailing enthusiasts with its well-equipped marinas and access to the beautiful Kornati National Park. Visitors can enjoy a variety of activities, from exploring local markets and dining in seaside restaurants to engaging in water sports and enjoying the lively summer festivals. Biograd is uh, situated in the heart of the Adriatic Sea on the Croatian coast, of course. Uh, it is on the north uh, part of Dalmatia. As it's called, it, uh, Biograd is the uh, center of nautical tourism in Croatia and uh, I would say it was the nest of nautical tourism at all in this uh, part of, uh, of the Adriatic because in the uh, small hotel marina it was organized first, uh, let's say, renting of the boats a uh, long time ago and uh, since then uh, Biograd uh, have, a, I would say, one of the biggest charter fleet and uh, three marinas which situate many private boats but also boats which you can rent. We organize here many activities regarding the sailing like uh, many international regattas, uh, country championships uh, in the past world championship because the position of Biograd is great. It is situated between the let's say on the coast but between the island of Pashman and the channel here produces a uh, lot of windy days, uh, even when you don't have some kind of strong uh, wind breeze. You have the thermic uh, between the islands, which create uh, that you can success to organize many regattas without uh, any fail uh, due to the wind conditions. A few kilometers from Biograd lies a resort with one of the area's most beautiful sandy beaches. This luxurious destination offers crystal clear waters, pristine sands, and lush pine forests. Guests can enjoy top-notch amenities, delicious dining options, and a tranquil atmosphere perfect for relaxation and rejuvenation. We are mostly family-oriented. Uh, we have a lot of uh, also uh, guests that are uh, luxury, that come here and work from home, uh, bring their families so they can enjoy the beach. We have a beautiful sandy beach uh, that is uh, well adjusted and suitable for children. Uh, that's why mostly we are family oriented. We have many playgrounds, we have animation throughout the whole year, uh, which is perfect for people that, that want to combine a work environment and uh, bring their families to enjoy the summer as well. There is a beach bar located directly on the beach. Additionally, a restaurant serves buffet breakfast and buffet dining. An a la carte restaurant is also available, featuring local cuisine and a variety of traditional meals from the Biograd area. We have a, a great infinity pool, which is a great uh, picture spot. Uh, there is also a swing in the sea that is also uh, used. It can be taken for like beautiful uh, sunset pictures at night. Sailors will especially enjoy an exquisite restaurant at the entrance to Tsirvena Luka Bay, offering a dining experience like no other. Surrounded by stunning natural beauty, guests can savor expertly crafted dishes that blend traditional flavors 
with modern culinary techniques, all while enjoying breathtaking views of the crystal clear waters and lush pine forests. The restaurant offers a pier accommodating 15 to 20 boats, available for free to its guests. The menu is based on local, fresh groceries with a strong emphasis on fish and seafood dishes. The goal of the restaurant is to serve traditional Dalmatian food with a modern twist. The menu also features unique offerings such as cod croquettes, gratinated scallops with wild asparagus pesto, and saffron risotto with grilled seafood. Guests particularly enjoy the fresh fish and local seafood like shellfish, scampi, and lobsters, all caught daily by local fishermen. The wine list complements the menu perfectly, featuring 70 labels, 90% of which are Croatian. The remaining wines are carefully selected from nearby regions, including Italy, France, and Slovenia. This blend of local ingredients, innovative cuisine, and a robust wine selection ensures that guests experience the best of Dalmatian culinary traditions, enhanced by modern culinary techniques and flavors. An interesting amusement park nearby offers an exciting adventure for visitors of all ages. This thrilling amusement park features a wide array of rides, from exhilarating roller coasters to family-friendly attractions and interactive games. With themed areas like Pirate City, Wild West, and Space, there's something for everyone. I'm very happy to introduce you with all this thing that we have. Uh, this is a big complex. This is a complex uh, with more than uh, 70,000 square meters. And uh, we have two separate uh, units, Aqua Park and Fun Park. Fun Park is our, one of our prides. This is first thing that we opened 2017. And uh, uh, last year we, we just opened our water park. Water Park itself is more than uh, 20,000 square meters and uh, Fun Park is more than uh, 50,000 meter, square meters. Uh, in Water Park you have 14 slides, you have place to chill. This aquatic wonderland features thrilling water slides, wave pools and lazy rivers, providing endless entertainment and relaxation. Kids can enjoy dedicated play areas with smaller slides and splash zones, while adults can unwind in the serene surroundings or take on more adventurous rides. With ample seating, shaded areas and refreshment stands, it's the perfect spot to cool off and have fun under the sun. Hrvatska je danas jedna od najprepoznatljivijih turističkih destinacija na Mediteranu, a to je zahvaljujući svojim, naravno, resursima s kojima upravlja u smislu konkurentnosti u odnosu na ostale turističke zemlje, glavne konkurente na Mediteranu kao što je Grčka, Španjolska, Italija, Francuska i naravno mnoge ostale zemlje. Zahvaljujući svojim prirodnim ljepotama, svom arhipelagu koji je posebno za nautičare, ja bih rekao, čak i raj na zemlji, i s obzirom na činjenicu da turizam baziramo na tradiciji, na kvaliteti i da idemo danas u pravcu održivosti. Orijentacija u budućem razdoblju će biti usmjerena više i na premium segment naše turističke ponude. Uz premium, naravno, ja bih rekao da je stupanj više i luksuzni segment naše ponude koje u pojedinim destinacijama možemo ponuditi gostima i da je Hrvatska atraktivna u tom segmentu, potvrđuje činjenica da je svake godine posjećao veliki broj poznatih osoba, veliki broj pa čak i na svjetskoj globalnoj razini osoba koje su značajne u različitim sferama društvenog života od gospodarstvenika, sportaša, velikih filmskih zvijezda itd. Isto tako našu ponudu gradimo i u smjeru internacionalizacije. 
Prije svega se to vidi kroz iskorak u enogastronomiji, dakle u segmentu gastroponude koju razvijamo zajedno sa najeminentnim svjetskim vodičima kao što je Michelin. Naime, danas Hrvatska broji 12 Michelinovih restorana sa zvijezdicama i 96 restorana koji nose prestižnu i preporuku u Michelinovom vodiču. Mnogi naši hoteli su dio asocijacije Leading Hotels of the World ili The World Small Luxury Hotels i brojne druge, što dodatno doprinosi afirmaciji Hrvatske kao kvalitetne turističke destinacije, kao destinacije koje ide upravo u tom pravcu segmenta premium turizma i to je ono na čemu ćemo graditi našu turističku ponudu i promociju u budućnosti. Aci u svom sustavu broji ukupno 22 marine strateški raspoređene po cijelom Jadranu, od Umagar na sjeveru do Dubrovnika na jugu. Marine se nalaze u blizini gradskih jezgri, povijesnih građevina i prirodnih ljepota, te pružaju savršeni spoj između tišine u jednoj od bezbrojne istraženih uvala ili gradske vreve i gužve u ljetnim mjesecima. Kod pružanja usluga Aci se vodi propisanim standardima kvalitete. Svaka marina osim usluga najma veza u suradnji sa poslovnim partnerima, koji su zakup ovacijevih poslovnih prostora, nudi i široku lepezu drugih vrsta usluga poput komplementarnih servisnih djelatnosti i drugih uslužnih. Restorana od kojih neki posjeduju Michelinove zvijezdice i nalaze se na Michelin Guide Tour Croatia popisu. Fitness centara, sauna, smještenih jedinica za nautičare i bazene. Naše marine kontinuirano svake godine osvajaju nadrade u raznim kategorijama, tako nacionalnim i svjetskim razminima, što ispred društvo stavlja izazove, da moramo odgovoriti na sve ono što vi kao nautičari tražite od nas da bi naša usluga iz godine u godinu bila sve bolje. Možemo reći da smo praktički bez prepotencije predodnih zelene tradicije u nautičkom turizmu i prvenstveno kao tvrtka, najveća nautička tvrtka na Mediteranu, ne samo u Hrvatskoj, kao tvrtka u većinskom vlastniču Republike Hrvatske, kao tvrtka koja upravlja sa 22 najatraktivne lokacije na Hrvatskom Jadrnu. Svjesni smo, dakle, apsolutno međusobnih odnosa turizma i okološa. S jedne strane, sačuvan okoliš je bitan segment kvalitetne turističke ponude, s druge strane, Turizam može izuzetno negativno utjecati na okoliš. Svaki dan je sve veća i rastuća opasnost, obzirom na rastući volumen turističke potražnje i pritisak na prostor i na okoliš koji postoji iz dana u dan sve veći. Što se, dakle, Acija tiče i obzirom na sve ovo iznijeto, u svom djelovanju izrazito, ali ponavljam, izrazito smo fokusirani na smanjenje ciljeve kao što su smanjenje emisije stakleničkih plinova, racionalizaciju potrošnji vode, smanjenje količine otpada, očuvanje prirodne baštine i moram ovdje u toj paleti spomenuti i jačenje veza sa lokalnom zajednicom, lokalnim stanovništom, što postoje sve bitni element kvalitet turičke ponude. Pag, located in the middle of the island of Pag, is renowned for its cheese, salt, stunning landscapes, and crystal clear waters. What makes Pag truly special is that it is one of the rare towns in Europe with a known birthday. We know the exact date and hour of our town's foundation. It was the 18th of May of the long past 1443 at 9 o'clock in the morning 
when the first ground stone for the church in the city center, now on the main square of the town of Pag, was put. 31 years later, and a lot of labor later, all the buildings in the town were finished. Big walls defending the town from the Ottoman invasions were built, nine defending towers, a lot of monasteries, a lot of churches, a lot of uh, public buildings, such as the Duke's Palace, were finished. And the inhabitants slightly moved in the next decades from the location of the old town next to the salt pools to this new, even though 500 years old, <laughs> location. Pag is famous for its UNESCO protected lace, a long-standing tradition recognized in 2008. This craft likely originated from Venice and was brought to Pag by Benedictine nuns from Zadar when they relocated to the new St. Margaret Monastery in the 15th century. Over the centuries, lace making outgrew the monastery and became a public skill taught in schools, where girls also learned to read, write, and do math. This education was significant for girls centuries ago. Today, lace making remains deeply rooted in Pag, with older women often seen crafting lace in the streets, a tradition now carried on by younger generations. They're learning from their grandmothers the art of lace making, even though it's hard labor, but it's also noble labor because you have to have very clean hands, you get to stay in the shadow, which uh, in the very hot and sunny town of Pag is not a bad thing, and you get to make something very unique. Every lace is a unique product. There are none two lace that are similar or equal, and you get to be a part of the tradition that is lasting for more than 500 years. One of the most important gifts given to a nun entering the monastery in Pag was a thorn from the crown of Christ, while Europe claims to have thousands of such thorns, only a few are authenticated by the Vatican. One is in Rome, a couple are in Notre Dame in Paris, and one is in the Benedictine Monastery in Pag. This thorn was brought from the Holy Land in 1433 by a friar named Tutinich, who gave it to his sister upon her entry into the monastery. It remains in Pag and holds great significance for its inhabitants. We have a huge procession that is held every beginning of May, and we certainly hope that all the visitors coming to Pag will understand the importance of this relic and come here and visit. The most important product of Pag is its salt historically valuable as a treasure and central to the town's economy. Pog's salt works, over 1,000 years old, have shaped its history and continue to be a vital part of the community. During that long period, salt was as valuable as treasure, causing wars and conflicts over it. At Salt Works Pog, workshops are offered for visitors to learn about salt production, both in ancient times and today. These workshops explain how salt is produced, its qualities and its importance to our bodies. Held in the morning before it gets too hot, visitors can find more information and apply for workshops through forms on the park's website at their preferred times. So here uh, on this place, we produce salt. Uh, salt is produced on uh, two ways. Uh, first way is the solar way. Uh, that's the way when uh, salt is uh, produced in the pools. Crystallization is done in the pools. And the second way is the solar thermal way, when uh, salt uh, is uh, produced partly in the uh, pools and the crystallization is in the factory. That's the way that we produce from uh, 1980, uh, 1980 year. In these pools, thickened seawater, known as brine, is produced from April to September or October, depending on the weather. 
Production in the factory begins in the second half of June or in July, which is the final stage where crystallization occurs. On this pulse, we produce a salt flower. It's the best salt there is. Uh, it's a, a, a salt with the uh, highest quality. It's produced when uh, uh, days are sunny and windy, and it's uh, collected manually. Uh, it's dried on the sun and wind, and then manually cleaned and packed. It's a salt with the uh, uh, highest content of minerals and uh, uh, we put it in a food while, uh, when food is cooked, not while, it's cook while we cook it. So uh, it's, we can preserve that minerals inside. Uh, we like to say that it's a caviar of salt. Pog cheese, renowned for its exceptional quality, is a hard, flavorful sheep's milk cheese produced on the island of Pog. Known as Pashki Sir, it has a unique taste derived from the island's aromatic herbs and salty winds. The cheese factory in Pog is where the magic happens, creating an award-winning cheese that is a staple of Croatian gastronomy and a must-try delicacy. The production uh, has uh, three phases. This is the first phase, pasteurization. Pasteurization is uh, heating milk on the certain temperature uh, to remove all the bad and non-hygienic uh, things from the milking. Uh, here is where most of the activities are made uh, regarding production. Uh, milk goes through these pipes into the tank. And into this tank here, we put rennet, we put salt, we put milk cultures and uh, calcium chloride. After half an hour of uh, mixing those elements, uh, curd becomes, and then uh, we uh, uh, milk coagulates, and after half an hour, everything goes here. After that, our cheesemakers put these things here to press the curd. Whey goes up, and from this way, we make scuta cheese or ricotta and now you can see our cheese makers putting cheese into the mold after that cheese will be pressed with this machine of pressing and for one hour they will be again on, around this table and they will put the cheese out of mold they will put it on the cages and then cheese will go into the third phase of production which is in that part of the cheese factory and this is the third phase, salamurenje, or salty water. They stay here for two days to get the surface and to become harder. And uh, it's a regular procedure in producing hard or semi-hard uh, cheeses. So after two days, the whole cages uh, are going out of the tanks and then the process is over. And now the best part of the cheese factory is cheese aging room. It's like a cheese heaven. Pashki Sir cheese is the most famous and the most awarded Croatian cheese. But uh, for us, for people uh, from Pag, Pashki Sir is more than food, it's more than cheese. Uh, it's part of our tradition, part of our identity and something we are very, very proud of. In the nearby small village of Shimuni, there is an amazing family-owned restaurant that combines all of the best products and flavors of the island. Young but highly skilled chef Jan will tell us more about their offerings. For our cheese platters, we use uh, cheese from uh, the three main uh, producers of cheese on, on the island of Pag, but uh, there are also many small business owners that produce excellent cheese. Uh, and the cheese is very important. It's literally a treasure of the, for, of the island because um, it has an unmistakable flavor. It's uh, produced from our sheep here on, on the Isle of the Park that uh, eats mostly salted uh, vegetables, uh, <laughs> salted herbs in the wild. Uh, so it gives that specific flavor to the cheese as well. 
This is precisely the case with another famous Pog specialty that must be tried on the island of Pog, Pog lamb. The island's unique vegetation is the reason for its exceptional flavor. So we have here our two uh, meat dishes. This one is our Pog's lamb. It's slow roasted, uh, finished with a little bit of uh, our uh, flour of salt and our uh, homemade lamb sauce with some homemade, homemade gnocchi uh, that we simmer for a long period of time so the lamb is soft and tender. Uh, it's cooked uh, with um, our uh, herbs locally sourced from Pag and uh, it's one of our best sellers here. And uh, so yeah, basically we, we try to, we always use uh, the best lamb we can source here on the island. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Pag and Biograd. From Pag's unique culinary delights to Biograd's stunning coastal beauty. We hope you've enjoyed discovering these incredible destinations. Stay tuned for more adventures and until next time, happy travels!